In our previous class, we had seen how to create a RTF template with the help of BI Publisher add-in for MS Word that is to generate the output to show the master detail data for the use case we had considered to show the purchase order header and line information so we had seen how to split the page and show only one purchase order information per page so if there are more number of purchase orders then each purchase order will be shown in the separate page for today's class we will see how we can override or change the information which we get from the VIP data model SQL query that is at the RTF template level suppose if we are getting the data like open all in caps we will tell open PO if it is closed we will tell closed PO something like that we will change the string over here with the help of RTF template you can tell that we can do the same with the help of SQL query why we are doing it over here suppose your SQL query is written by some other team and RTF template is being created by another team so then in such cases we don't usually go and tell to team A to modify their SQL query as per your use case rather the SQL query will be generic but your VIP report or the template which you are creating it should be able to handle or change the text accordingly so let's see how we can achieve the same so first of all we have to locate where is that field it's over here pure status also we can change this over here the labels so there is no hard and fast rule that label should match the field name this field name should match with the name or the tag what we get in the XML or in the VIP response now I will double click on this PO status go to advanced here we have to make use of the decode accessibility function in order to change the text here is the function which I have written over here using the accessibility decode function first is the field name just make sure you give the right field name that you will get from the properties and the data field so this should match with what you write over here if it is open we will tell open PO if it is closed in caps then we will tell closed PO if none of the data comes from the VIP report then we will just display others just copy this from here go to the properties over here and just before the end tag just paste this and click on ok click on save and click on PDF here if you see in the response we are getting this open PO and also we are getting this field let me just uh, see what wrong I have done click on this PO status I forgot to remove this just remove this tag from here because we are already overriding this PO status and changing the text let me just again save this and click on PDF here if you see we are getting the PO status that is with the help of decode function when it is open we will tell open PO when it is closed we will tell closed PO let me just see if there is any closed POs it's not there closed POs are not available others are also not available all are open but in your use case if you are having such kind of requirement wherein you have to override the data what we get from the data model SQL query then we can make use of this use case so you can make use of chat GPT or any other AI tools in order to know what function you can use for the RTF template in order to achieve the use case because going through the documentation and finding the right kind of functions will be very time consuming the tools like chat GPT and other AI products will be very useful for solving the business requirement very quickly